Hello and welcome to Scholar Coaching. If you'd also like to participate, follow the link below and access the replay inbox. In there, go ahead and drop your replay file, ball chasing link, or YouTube video of you playing your preferred game mode and mention your competitive rank or six man's rank if possible. If any of this doesn't make any sense to you while watching the video, feel free to follow up on my Scholar School of Learning series in my video playlist. We go over all the basic ideas and general rotations that are talked about in these replay analysis. Thank you and I hope you enjoy. Oh, Ooh, 50, comes down, you push in. Okay, a little bit of shadow back. You trusted SS. I'm with I'm with you trusting SS for the most part. You can choose once you see him start to boost in and once you choose it's not going to happen anymore. You could just bail and go to back post here, right? Get your flipped out. And then maybe you dodge Popo, but Popo is going to kill you more times than not here, honestly. You might be able to dodge from inside the net bubble in or you might be able to do something here. Either way, he's going to get a good demo on you. He's got really good pressure on you right here. It's going to be tough. Good job, good job going back post. Good job on the shadow back. I'm okay with you pushing with him as well if you want to do that. It's pretty free for him. You can hear your teammate coming in on the right side here. In the same way, you turned away here, right? Ball cam off. Identify your cross side. SS is pushing and he thought you were leaving here, right? So go ahead and just keep yourself third. Take your time. Wait for Popo to win. Boom. Now you're in. You engage. Said turning out. And now you got that counterattack right here, right? Get that engagement. Good save at the end of this. Went up backboard. I love the pace. Good try. Very close. Keep on working on those wall jumps. You'll get it next time. It's a very good idea. I saw the clear opportunity in your eyes. Boom. Leave this, 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 leave this. Okay. So right here, you're pre-stopping his extension for our cola here to clear to you, right? I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with you to do this. But now the pass has failed. Ball cam, like, you know, roll your camera down, ball cam off, turn around. SS is jumping. He's passing to Cola now. Look how look how Cola's already upfield. You gotta get to third right now. No matter how much this guy this ball could have been free in the right wall, no matter how much SS could have, you know, won this 50 and shot it or whatever, it could have gone over here. And what you did would have been really, really great and really, really strong. If it fails like it does, who's defending the counterattack, right? Who's got this possession? Who's getting this overall breakthrough, right? Now it's really awkward. Instead of you being ready to engage from midfield here to push, jump, and shoot, if you left, and we'll take that line real quick. Right, you turn out, you grab 12s, right? You see the failure, you step in with our RC call, he bangs, now you're driving in. You're coming up, you're banging, this is a shot on net, this could be a goal, right? Especially if you want to be more aggressive, you could definitely get there a little bit earlier, right? Instead of doing that, now you're just playing over like field control. You're just doing your best to make sure that nothing bad happens here, because all you gotta do is you're leaving, right? Instead of engaging, keep the pressure on them, you're leaving and giving them the ball. And it, you could have you could have cut across and got DT there as well, but that still would have been less effective than just playing third man. If you're going to go to boost here, good job going to third. I was going to say, you better turn to net. Um, also try to identify a teammate. Make sure someone's cutting into that as well. You pre-flip forward here. This is fine. Your teammate should expect you to be second here because you didn't turn away. You push in. Got the chip. Nice. Oddball came off here again as well, which you're in that 50 and bumps because you're basically not doing anything anyway. Just identify it. Cola's leaving. Asset's coming down midfield. Cool. I'll wait second right side for him now. You guarantee that. What if Cola, though, was got side boost was pushing in right behind you? You want to make sure you identify that. Stay out of the range. Make sure you're available. Bang. Good try the 50. Go for the corner. No, you leave. Okay, ball cam off before you bail here, man. Flat out. Again, you know, if you want to leave, ball cam off. Identify SS. See how awkward he is? You're getting in his way this whole way through. He has to flip through you. Just go down middle here. Get behind him, right? Rotate to this side. Go grab corner boost over here. That's up. Or in the same way, if he's this far back, you can even say ball cam off here. Oh, look how deep he is. All right, well, he's leaving. He might need boost. Let me turn to midfield here in case my teammate dunks this. Boop, boop. Up. Oh. 12, 20 boost, that's a goal. That's shootable. That's a percent. That's that could be a goal. Right? You could create that opportunity. I don't like and it's a pretty low chance. I don't mind if you want to leave, but identify your teammate first at least. Coming in. Off backboard, might come down to you. You just wait. Go for demo. Nope. Ball cam off here. Go for demo, honestly. Could be really effective. Try to get some usefulness out of while you're on this backboard. Don't look at the ball, don't look at the play. It's already done. They can't pass to you. You can't shoot it. Ball come off. Look at Skippy. Demo him. Bump him out. Make him awkward. Then recover. Start your rotation out. Right? SS is going to get the touch either way. You could be leaving right here. Right? Same way. You're going to have to come up either way. Your teammate could also get that save. Right? There's someone that's going to be more effective than you are or going to be there because you're extension. You're coming. You're the lead, You're the farthest upfield. There's not much you can really do to recover that and get back in time in most cases. It's okay to take a little bit of time as extension to go for that demo or to create some havoc for the opponents. Damn. Okay, you jump really early on this. If you have the confidence and you hit this man, I'd give it to you. But you jump a little bit later here, come in, 
Uh, you know, come in the same way you are. Just jump later. Jump from underneath it. Come in. Try to get that redirect. Go for the go for the pass off backward if you need to. Um, but especially here, though, you have to keep in mind you are playing a group of people that aren't really the most reliable in being mid so far, right? The last two minutes we've been seeing lack of opportunity mid uh, for mid passes and other ranges of things. You're gonna have to solo place and shoot it. Playing for this pass, no one's there, right? And you should already know this. You, you should be used to it by now, right? With these guys in your team, you've been playing them for two minutes. Trees Gaming, what's up, man? How you doing today? Stay with it. Okay, and with your cut here. Your teammates kicking over on you. You wait mid a little bit. That's not a pass, right? If it's not a pass, start to slow down. The second this ball is not hit to you off backboard by SS here, stop. Just stop right here. Wait. Wait for Popo or TT. They might drop it. You're waiting for the hit. The 50s. Now you can shadow and control. If you're a little bit farther back. You can go up the wall now. You can shoot this from the wall. You can double tap it. There's a range of things you can do, right? It'd be so much more e it's so much easier. And you'd have an easier line to get there, and you'd be quicker. Bang. Coming back. Down. Yeah, that sucks. Um, if you did more on that sidewall there, it would have been nice. You also could have, you know, just not gone for the shot to begin with, because it's pretty low, uh, per chance. But yeah, the, uh, wow, okay, quick shot on the comeback there with your teammates. Good on them. Um, whatever I was saying, blah, blah, blah. Uh. Oh, where is? Oh, nice setup. Oh, they bumped you. That would have been a double. You had that. You're leaving here. Take your diamond here. You just identify that side boost is gone, right? Take diamond. Get yourself into this midfield. Flip forward. Flip, flip left. Something. Get yourself out of the mid. Grab your 12s here. That way, if this fails, you're meet, you have boost to cut back in. I guess that's just trying to cut this across. You could intercept and get this back on their side right now. Or in the same way, you'd have you could easily get that out to the corner boost and still cut in and be available the same way you are, right? Just take the diamond instead. It's you, that way you have the option to turn in if you need to if your teammate really fails or own goals. The side boost just wasn't there. If side boost is there, I would be like, you can take side boost and get there basically at the same time. It doesn't really matter. But side boost wasn't there. You knew it wasn't there. You saw it wasn't there. I don't know why you're committing to it. Again, here. You're committing to side boost. You get, what are you doing? Are you messing around? Are you throwing? Should I not even do this replay? Like, what? Get yourself on a diamond, though. Let's just correct it, right? Grab your 12s here. That boost is gone. You know it's gone, right? 12, identify, right? Oh, he dropped it. Cool. Go out to corner. Grab your corner boost. You're in. You're aligned. You still get it. You know what I mean? And that back post time makes it really easy too, right? You, God damn, dude. Bang. You want to be back post during RC Coliseum so you can come straight in and get this beat on TT. You, you like It should be free. And that could have been a free goal as well, basically, because of it. All right. Good pressure here. You identify your teammate. You flip out. Get on wall. Oh, the pinch. I, I think you wanted to catch there, but that was right idea. Bad execution. You're fine. Keep on working on it. Go for side boost because there's nothing you really can do. They clear. You have a redirect. You chip it. I like it. I, I try to identify RC Cole if you can though, because there's no one to intercept this on the enemy team. Once RC Cole is up, just rotate underneath them and just go to third here, honestly. And that's gonna be the best thing you do. I'm okay with you chipping it like this and getting that redirect, but at the same time, RC Cole could have had so much more on this because his line, and he also it's basically a double commit now. If you just took a better rotation back, you'd be conserved boost and you'd be back faster with a better line and more comfortable and so on, blah blah blah. Insert, 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 right. Now coming in his third, RC Cole is coming to mid. Don't boost. Get yourself outside behind him. He's going to he's going to a slow second. Don't trust him, right? This pass is probably gonna fail. Just wait. Now push in with SS. You can push in now, right? It's already failed. The pass is short. Identify this pass is short. Don't commit to this, right? Be ready for the rebound. Starting from a little bit later, it could be really effective. And in the same way here, this pass, boom. He did not hit this well enough in front of net. It's not landing in front of you or on cross side behind Popo. Don't jump. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do that. Stop. Just stay on the ground. Chill. Right? And then stop. It freezes. You're in. Boom. Maybe shootable. Decent 50 choice. Right? In the same way, you also could have guaranteed it into the corner. You know, by turning in, flipping that way. And then you would have landed somewhere over here. You could have turned up well and then recentered it or gone for a doomsie. Or popped it up the wall as it's coming up and then gone for a ceiling solo play in some way and shoot it. However you want to do it. A bunch of things you can do. A lot of options. But yeah, don't overcommit for that. Your teammate did not get a good pass there. Don't commit to a bad pass. All it's going to do is overcommit you. Damn, Popo taking those goals. Wants them. There you are. Yeah, you're stuck in their net. You could have been shadowing this. You could have forced it out earlier. There's a lot you could have done, right? But you weren't available to because you overcommitted the second man for no reason. That's what I was thinking. 
Boom. Oh, good try. Again with these wall reads, keep on practicing these training packs. You got it next time. You definitely are very, very awkward on these. You're not used to those awkward angles. Just keep on going for those. Be confident like you are. And even in the games, keep on going for it. Confidence, right? You gotta, you gotta learn from experience on those. You gotta figure out what your play style is to hit those. Everyone has their own little way that they like to do it, own little way they like to think about it. You'll get there. You'll definitely happen. Keep it going. Ooh. Scary. Scary, scary, scary. Yeah, you force trying to get the 50 here. Go for the boost deal. I'm okay with this. If you could demo Skippy, that'd be really nice right now, honestly. A demo Skippy would be great because there's nothing you can do to save the ball. Um, your teammate's already back. There's nothing really you can do to get in front of this. If you just turned into demo Skippy and, ex and just, you know, took a little bit wider line in your rotation here, it pops out. Skippy wouldn't be here to pressure your teammate and you'd have the free line to get onto that. It'd just be a 2v1 on Skippy right now. That'd be really strong. Um... But you already identified there's nothing more you can do. You did pre-flip out the third. Now he's got now his extension. Once you realize there's nothing you can do to defend the net, all you can do is demo midfield. Take out their next shooter. Don't take a huge detour for it. Just do it on your way back. You know, a minor detour like I should have skipped. And then turn back towards the midfield. You ready midfield. Big pass. It's a short pass. Good cleanup. Nice. Right? I like how you didn't pre-jump. I like how you just pushed in, right? Maybe turn your ball cam off, identify their third a little bit, but in the same way, good read. Good job being there after the fact, right? If they're not going to show up, they're not going to show up all the way to the end, right? So you may as well take the shot at the end of that where it's the most likely and where it's actually shootable rather than pre-jump and do nothing. Bang. Good job forcing that. Good boost steal. I like that. Yeah, you didn't really get much on this. Honestly, hold the ball. If it bounces off and goes mid for SS, it's fine. But in the same way, Arcola is coming in for you. But like, what's your goal of this touch? You know what I mean? I don't really know what you're aiming for here. But stay on the wall. You'd always just chip it on its way down. A little hop as it's passing you. Pops it right into Arcola here. And that'd basically be ball. It'd be such a great pass to him. You cover right wall. Um, again, you're kind of facing out on this and you're leaving. So your teammate thinks you're going to third. Ball came off. Identify SS. Yeah, he's coming in. So just go out to third here. Don't go up the wall. Turn in after the overall clear opportunity. Bang. Now you're in. Big momentum, big clear opportunity, big big counterattack, right? You're very close to the right idea, but you could have been facing it sooner, right? You see the awkwardness, you turn in. You see it's going to get pushed in mid. You're up. Huge dust, right? You pop this high. Go off the corner down. You might be able to get the follow-up or off ceiling down to you. Then redirect back into the net. Huge opportunity up, uh, here, you know? Okay, after you've picked your line to side boost here... Ball cam back on, starting here, when you've already figured out where your line is on this. And watch the play again, right? You might need to turn in early. You might want to turn in early. You might want to demo out Popo there. It's a lot of options. Yeah, your teammate and you aren't really on the same page. You didn't really check him on your way back to back post here, right? Is he coming in or is he not? Right? He's already back post. You could have taken midfield early, like right here. He would have seen you. And then now you would let him take this while you go back to third. And then SS is there, so you might cut into midfield, or you might let him cut and you go back all the way back or whatever. There's a range of things you can definitely do here, but you gotta identify your third on your rotation back. Every time you're turning back towards net, identify that third man. Figure out where they are, figure out what you gotta do. Go over a little bit. Okay, I like the line. Very close to a really good first touch there. You get the recovery though. Close to a shot. Just make sure you keep yourself a little pushing into it rather than just hovering underneath it. So when you're coming into this, start boosting more aggressively right after the third squirt, I think. So you jump, you align, now hold right here. Just start holding and get that first big touch because now you can get it over Skippy here. Right, if you get a good big touch on it, my pop off ceiling, you get that redirect off ceiling back into net or it might set up for a double tap, which will allow you to shoot it on the aftermath. Could be really effective. Good job recovering this overall first kind of awkward touch into another one. And that ended up getting it over Skippy here really effectively, but TD still gets to save. Understandable. That was a really decent solo play. So we can get a little more control on it, a little more uh, danger, but in the same way, it's fine. The cut in here in the force is fine. I'm okay with that. Make sure you really identify SS though, right? Really watch him. SS is turning in. He's not staying out. He's turning in. Might be better on average for you just to bail here because it passes it really that direct. He wants to come in. Let him come in more aggressively. It's going to end up failing and dropping. Now you're behind him here. Easy save on the counterattack. Get that follow through. He's just a little too aggressive. Keep in mind here, and this is something I tell some of my B-plus players and so on, some of the people in the other ranges and whatnot, whatnot in these situations, but when you're checking back to him, would you call this a good third man? In between the nets, in between the post lines and pushing in like this, I wouldn't really say that I would call that a good third man for myself. Good third man for myself, would, if, it was, if it was this close, it'd be outside post lines facing in or outside post lines facing in, right? Outside post lines facing in from the harder angle right here. 
Right? They chip, they bang, you're up. Interception. He's facing the whole time. He's getting too much momentum pushing in. He's pushing down the center. Once it's pushed down the center, it's really hard to control that ball. It's really hard to read and rate the range of where it's going. It's also really hard to tell if it's in the net or not on that shot. But when you're outside the post lines, you know if it's in front of you, it's basically in the net. You chase it down, you get it. Right? And that's more or less the way you think about it. And it's a pretty free save at that point, right? Same thing from over here, right? If it's coming in, you just jump, easy interception, bang, hit it to your side, and so on. But I wouldn't really trust him if he's in between those post lines and pushing it like that. Very few times, you can, I, like you, if you want to go highest card reward and you want to push that in for the risk, it, like, yeah, you can go for the risk there and go for the shot, but keep in mind, you would have done more to guarantee this game by rotating back on average rather than playing for the risk on average, right? Guaranteeing that the game stays tied or with a slight lead with one goal lead rather than trying to get a more goal lead or trying to get out of the tie by being a little bit too.